Locate the 14 screws that hold the lid down and remove them. Carefully remove the lid. Then locate the wires that are of interest. In this case, that's a, the, an RF connector here, the tuner connector there, and obviously the little pushing connector on the PCB. Gently lift the ATU connector away from the chassis of the radio, taking care with the wire, and very gently pull the connector away from the PCB and then put the cable somewhere safe. You'll need that later. Okay, remove the RF connector away from the PCB, taking care not to damage it. Locate the cable that came with the, the, the little board, and at this point you're gonna to need to plug it into the little PCB connector on the back. If you do what I did and uh, connect that too soon, or sorry, install the board too soon, then uh, you, it's very difficult to get that connector in. Now at this point, there are some RF cables that you're gonna need just to slide across to one side, just there, and then the board just drops in where the ATU connector came away from. And then very, very carefully locate this um, little wire with its uh, ferrite bead. Push it back into the or push it into the PCB connector and that's one connection done and you really want to just find a nice neutral location for that uh, cable now I wasn't happy here and uh, relocated it and I found that it just settled nicely just on the top there you go okay then locate the little cable that came with the uh, PTRX board and connect it to the, the radio itself. Take the RF cable that you pulled out from the radio board itself and gently push it into the PTRX board. That's it, it's all done. You've now successfully installed the board. Reassemble in reverse. Reinstall the 14 screws. Okay, now on the back of the radio, you'll see there are now two new ports. You're gonna to need to locate the cable that you took away from the radio itself, the ATU connector, and that plugs into the little modular connector. And there's the little modular cable, and that just simply plugs in into the board. Okay, now you need to find the long black uh, RF connector that came with the board, and that simply connects into the little RF connector there. That's it, it's pretty much done. And what we're going to do is, um, I like to just to secure it to the uh, the fan with a small cable tie. And that just stops, um, number one, the cables being lost if they get pulled out. But it also it just takes a bit of strain away from the, the delicate uh, sort of sockets and stuff. And I'll obviously trim the cable tie. Okay, and at this point you can select the uh, SDR of your choice in my case I'm using an SDR play RSP 1A and connect the little SMA connector to it connect your USB turn the radio on and enjoy